All right, Kevin McGuffey joining us to talk Kentucky football from last word on college football. Got to join he and the rest of the crew there, Mike Laval, Tony Syracusa, Donald King. You guys are basically the core of my media contributors. <laughs> well, an outstanding that, job. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. We, we got it. Got it. It's a really, it's a really good, uh, really good group of, uh, of people, honestly, not to, you know, throw got to throw a plug out there. I mean, uh, last word on collegefootball.com, you know, everybody there does, you know, does a really good job. You know, Mike covers, you know, Tennessee, Tony covers UCLA, you know, Donald, you know, covers Stanford. They have, we have a group, you know, a lot of people that cover a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the major, a lot of the major teams. And so it's, it's a really fun, it's a really great group and a lot of, you know, a lot of fun to, uh, you know, hang out and, you know, talk football on Saturdays, you know, in message boards, you know, little chat rooms or whatever. And, uh, you know, talk trash occasionally when you're playing, uh, playing one of the other, you know, other reporters, uh, you know, school kind of thing. So Kevin, between your previous wide receivers coach and your current, the one that was just hired, uh, looking at Lamar Thomas and Michael Smith, if you have any issues at wide receiver, those guys just, they can go right on in the field because they were that good. Uh, both collegiately and for Lamar Thomas at the next level as well. But uh, Lamar Thomas uh, giving up the post to Michael Smith. So what do we know about Michael Smith? Well, um, you know, he, um, you know, a lot of people were kind of surprised. I wasn't that surprised that Lamar Thomas, you know, I don't think he, I don't think he resigned. I think he was asked to, to leave, which, you know, kind of raised some eyebrows, but, you know, he, depending on who you ask, you know, I don't really know that he was doing a whole lot on the recruiting, you know, on the recruiting front. Because, if you know, if you look if you look at the, the list of guys that Kentucky's brought in, you know, you see Vince Marrow's name, you know, by a lot of them. You know, he's Kentucky's age recruiter. You know, Steve Klinkscale, you know, the defensive backs coach, you know, he was he was key in getting McCall here to Kentucky. Um, you know, you had there was an issue. You know, I'm not saying this has anything to do with it, but, you know. You know, I talked back, you know, back at the Louisville game, um, Lamar, Tom, uh, Lamar Jackson, excuse me, and Jordan Jones got into it, you know, on the field, which led to a little skirmish. And then, you know, Coach Thomas came over to Lamar Jackson's aid, you know, as opposed to, um, you know, like Jordan Jones or any of the Kentucky guys. Now, of course, you know, Coach Thomas, uh, you know, recruited Lamar Jackson to Louisville. So, you know, he, the man can recruit, obviously, but. You know, it just didn't seem like he was getting it. He was getting a lot done on the recruiting trail. And honestly, you know, for all of his experience and everything he's done, it just didn't seem like the receivers. You couldn't see that much progress <laughs> for lack of a better term. You know, they've been plagued by drop balls, you know, several years. You know, this is before Lamar Thomas even got here. But, you know, that was one of the things that they, you know, I think pointed to. And as you said, Coach Stoops, they just hired Michael Smith who was formerly on the Arkansas staff, you know, became available when, you know, Brett Belima was relieved of his duties. And, um, you know, if you look at his resume, it's really, really, you know, impressive. He, he learned under, he learned under Bill Snyder, who, you know, let's face it, he's one of the, you know, one of the all time best, in my opinion, I think, you know, college football, I don't know that he gets all the, all the credit and all the respect that he, he should, but, you know, he was there for, I think 12 years with him and then he and, um, and Mark Stoops coached together at Arizona back in um, the late two thousands. So, you know, they had, they had a relationship previously. And um, another thing, uh, coach Smith is, if you look at his, his bio, he's, he's considered an ACE recruiter. You know, he's really, you know, you look at some of the guys he's brought in at Arkansas and even, you know, at Kansas state, um, you know, and he, they're hoping, I think the hope is, you know, he's really been good, like Louisiana, you know, even in Texas, a little bit out that way. Those are places that Kentucky has never, you know, never recruited before. You know, like you and I were just talking, you know, Kentucky used to just be like, you know, just in this general Kentucky, you know, Tennessee, occasionally Ohio or Indiana. But, you know, as you said, you know, six players in this class from you know, are from Ohio. They have a number of players from Florida. They made huge inroads down there, you know, some guys from Georgia. And so I think they're hoping with, with, um, with Smith is that maybe they can branch out to the Southwest, you know, an area, because let's face it, you know, there's, there's a ton of talent out there, you know, in the state of Texas and you know, Louisiana, you know, maybe even, you know, Mississippi, 
you know, I think that the hope is he can get um, maybe uh, get their foot in the door and start get, maybe getting some players, you know, from that part of the country, which they never had before. All right, Kentucky coming off seven and six, uh, that 24-23 loss in the Music City Bowl to a 10-win Northwestern team to cap off Mark Stoops' uh, uh, season here in 2017. And as Kevin points out, the big mystery in 2018 is who's going to play quarterback, the most uncertain position um, at that position in the SEC coming up here in 2018. So, Kevin, we'll have to track you down sometime close to spring football to talk uh, about uh, what the outlook is at quarterback and for the rest of the team based on the personnel losses, who needs to step up and maybe even take a peek at the uh, schedule. So uh, you're always welcome. Well, cool. Well, thank you. It's always, it's always a pleasure. I, I really enjoy uh, getting to come on here and, uh, and, and talk football with you. It's a lot of fun. Really, really appreciate it.